Hey YouTube, T9 here. I want to talk to you a little bit about less lethal options. Um, every time I carry a firearm, I um, I go out and I have a mental step system that I go through in case something should happen. Um, in, in case there should be some sort of threat towards me. And what I mean with that is in case somebody with a knife, baseball bat also comes and tries to harm, harm me, and tries to get my wallet or tries to kick the living daylight out of me just to get to my money or just for the hell of it for that matter um, these steps what I'm, that I'm talking about is can the situation be de-escalated verbally which would be number one actually maybe number one would be just walk away can I walk away number two would be verbally um, number three maybe uh, pepper spray you know all these things are less lethal options uh, uh, walking away is the less lethal option, you know, until you get to your firearm. That's the lethal option. Um, so you go through these steps and you get to pepper spray, which I carry too. And then you think to yourself, you know, sometimes there's people that are not affected by pepper spray. They fight right through it, you know. And frankly, y you could be grabbing for your gun, but you know what? A lot of these, a lot of us um, concealed carriers, we don't want to use our gun. We want to try to de-escalate. The, the gun should be the last resort. Um, so, what else can we put between pepper spray or a knife and the gun? Well, one great option is a taser. Um, you guys seen the videos before. You guys seen the cop videos where people get shot by these tasers and they get stopped immediately and I can tell you they work. Now this one I have here in front of me is the uh, Taser C2 which is the civilian version. Uh, it does look kinda odd um, but I can tell you guys that it works just like the police version. I'm going to do a quick review, show you guys kind of how it works. Um, you can buy these for around $300, if, $350 maybe. And uh, they get shipped to your house or you buy them, up, buy them at your local gun uh, store. And you do have to register these. Um, you have to register these online. They wouldn't even work if you don't. What, because you have to go online register and they do a background check on you and then they send you a code they send you a p code that has a certain uh, amounts of there's a button on top here so you have to push that a certain amount and hold it and if you don't do it right it won't work but if you do it right it gets activated and a green light appears right let me just see you just pull the top open right there is the green light Okay, so let me close this up real quick because this one is a life one. So what it is, you hold it in your hand, it has the button on top, the front has the cartridge right here as you can tell and you guys all seen it before. In case of an emergency this, this is what happens. You open the top with this to, to uh, reveal the button all the way to here and what it does is once you've opened this latch it activates and then only a few models have that you have to buy this option I believe all come with a light so it has a light on the front and this one has a laser too if you guys can see that right here <coughs> it's hard to see Mm, but it has a laser as well. I want the option of a laser just because this doesn't have any sights to aim on and uh, in the heat of the moment you just pretty much point and push the button. What it does is it, it shoots out these two barbs which uh, I have in a picture up here. It shoots out these two barbs and attached to them are the uh, 
I'm, I'm not too sure, I think it's copper wires and they reach up to 15 feet and when they hit the target it works the, the, uh, the uh, nerve, nervous system, the nerves I guess, or the muscles and contracts them and they will drop like a like a bad habit they won't be able to move for a while and this, since this is the civilian version what it does is it does an impulse for 30 seconds I believe and um, Taser, the Taser company says you should use that to get away you wanna shoot that person with the Taser you wanna set it on the ground and you wanna walk away that's what this is meant for um, you know to give you some time to escape it's a great option I believe it's a great option a less lethal option even though there's been incidents it turned out a taser was lethal but you know a lot of things that were in incidents that turned out lethal that wasn't supposed to so I'm just saying you know I can always grab my gun but here's something that might make a difference between life and death and I'd rather go with this option first than uh, uh, um, using my firearm so we talked about this we, t we talked about the button the activation the light the laser um, the barbs that shoot out the front let me guys show you something else that's pretty cool I think it's a one-shot uh, taser okay um, what if you miss well you would say then you're pretty much screwed right not really because um, if you guys can see these two aluminum clips in the front here and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this cartridge out right now I hope it's sometimes it's very hard to get out but I hope for the camera it's gonna come out just easily you gotta just pinch these two wings together and there you go pull it out so this is how the cartridge looks like and you can reorder them online um, pretty much plastic and if you guys can see that if you guys can see the uh, copper wire that's in there it's, it's uh, in a spool kind of it goes 15 feet it's far enough I think so that's the cartridge now if you miss you still have the option of either A pulling this out and I believe it does work also once this cartridge is fired but what happens is <clears throat> this is still a stun gun so I'm gonna demonstrate this to you guys you guys gonna dig this a bit so let's say you fire your cartridge the, uh, the light is on the laser everything is working and if you miss and they come they, they are still attacking you guess what just push this button yeah tell you what no thank you I'm not going after that so here you have an option to fend off even more than just one person okay which is pretty cool um, this will put somebody else down too so like said before you know just a less lethal option and just I mean look at the sparks I mean isn't that crazy I mean that is surely something that if somebody was pointing that at me I would think twice of attacking that person you know hey less lethal it's better than shooting at somebody right so anyways it's a uh, it's my Taser C2 and uh, I think it's a, an option to consider when talking less lethal these uh, cartridges I didn't look it up I don't know how much they are maybe $20 um, 300 for the main unit which comes with two of these and a test cartridge which really just shoots two bobs out and has nylon string attached to it just to kind of give you a, a, a training on the taser um, I think it's a great option a great less lethal option um, I don't always carry this along because this is kind of you know carrying in the pocket or so it's a little bulky uh, one downside that I 
that I can think of is I'm so used to handling firearms that I want to almost hold it like a firearm but it's kind of you know it's not in a 40-45 degree angle so it kind of feels weird like I'm almost going to overshoot the target um, however you know that's why the laser that's what the laser and the light is for to make sure you eventually hit your target so that's my little review of the uh, uh, Taser C2 a great little less lethal option um, uh, for you, you know, maybe for your girlfriend or so, or for yourself. I mean, and this is, I'm sure I'm going to use this over my firearm when it comes to a situation that uh, doesn't um, ask for a firearm to be used. So, I uh, want to show you guys a little uh, uh, review of this and. Uh, Please subscribe if you like this channel. Uh, there's definitely going to be more videos coming. Uh, T9 with that, signing out. See you guys later.